Hi, in this video we're looking at the hyperbola graph y is equal to a over x plus q. So the first example we're looking at is y equal to 4 over x. We're going to use a table to draw this graph. We're going to use the factors of 4, positive and negative. So we've got 1, 2, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4. If we substitute the x value in this equation, we would find the y value. So y is equal to 4 over negative 4. So 4 over negative 4 is negative 1. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. 4 over negative 1, negative 4. 4 divided by 1, 4. 4 divided by 2, 2. 4 divided by 4, 1. So we have our points, and now we are ready to go and draw the graph. Okay, we have our table. We're going to plot the points. The first point is negative 4 on the x-axis, negative 1 on the y-axis. First point, negative 4, negative 1. Next point, negative 2, negative 2. Negative 2, negative 2. Next point, negative 1, negative 4. Next point, 1, 4. So we're going on the positive side of the x-axis, 1, 4. Then we have 2, 2. The next point is 4, 1. Okay, we have our points. And we're going to join these points to form a gentle curve. So I don't want you to join it using your ruler. We're going to use freehand sketch to draw this. We're ready to join these points. So very gently, we're starting from the extreme left and we're going to move on and joining all the points. Going on the top, joining our three points, we get the graph we're looking for. So look at the curve and you can practice to get the curve. Please note it does not touch the x-axis or the y-axis. So that is very important. This is our hyperbola. We're ready to go on to the next question. The next question is y equal to negative 4 over x. So in the same way, we got our table running from minus 4 to 4. And we're going to substitute. Now we're going to go with negative 4 divided by the x values on the top. So negative 4 over negative 4 is 1. Negative 4 over negative 2, that's 2. Negative 4 over negative 1, that's 4. Negative 4 over 1, we're going to get negative 4. Negative 4 over 2, negative 2. And negative 4 over 4 is negative 1. So we're now ready to draw this graph. And remember, we're going to start by plot. Okay, we're going to plot these points. The first one, negative 4, positive 1. Negative 4, positive 1. The next one, negative 2, positive 2, followed by negative 4, sorry, negative 1, 4, negative 1, 4. Moving on, we have 1, minus 4. Next point is 2, negative 2. And the last one is 4, negative 1. And just as we formed a curve using our pencil, I want you to join these points to form a curve. Okay, and this is the curve that we should get in the second and fourth quadrant. So let's move on. We're going to make some quick deductions. Uh, you can practice drawing these graphs. y equal to 2 over x, y equal to 3 over x, and y equal to 4 over x. Note, if you're trying to use factors, the factors for 2 would be 1 and 2, but we want 3 points. So if you don't have three factors, so you can use one, two, and use the next multiple. So one, two, four would be a good choice. And for three, you could use one, three, and six. But I want to look at these graphs. The first one, the green, that's two over x. The yellow is three over x. And the next one is four over x. So we want to look at how A affects the graph. And judging from these three graphs that we have, two, three, and four, we can make a deduction that if we ignore the signs, just looking at positive, we see a vertical stretch of the branches of the hyperbola. 
So b the bigger the A value is, the further the stretch is away from the x-axis. So you'll notice A to be 2 and A to be 4. The bigger A, the further we are away from the x-axis. We also look at the first two graphs we drew, 4 over x and negative 4 over x. And you'll notice in this one, A is positive. So if A is greater than 0, the graph appears in quadrant 1 and 3. In this case, we notice A is negative, so our graph appears in quadrant 2 and 4. You'll also notice that in this graph that we've been drawing, it does not touch the X and Y axis, which makes the X and Y axis the asymptotes. And the X axis, the equation is Y equal to 0, the y-axis is x is equal to 0. So an asymptote means the graph will not touch or cut this line. Thank you.